uh, working at a real estate company called Optiven Real Estates as a junior software engineer. So my childhood was a bit normal and I loved it. Most of the times I spent my time with my dad. I usually loved math, so we'd just go with him. I'd help him maybe to, we when, when he was marking the, the script, so I'd like arrange for him. Then we'd do a lot of math each and every time. Never wanted to get into tech. And I usually told my dad that I just want to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Say so I was that outspoken child. So if anything goes wrong, I was the one to maybe tell the dad. My experience was a little bit harsh to start with. I started off at uh, Kenyatta University to do a career in tech, which I never wanted to do at the first place. So I attended my first classes. We were given a certain assignment, it was a, uh, like a small project to build a certain website. I built an e-commerce, a kind of e-commerce platform, a small e-commerce platform for shops. So the lecturer was really interested in it. And that's when I realized that maybe I was built for this thing and I became so interested in it and <laughs> later on joined so many clubs in the university that helped me shape my career in tech. And that's how I, be I came to know of Moringa School. The Moringa experience is one of the best experiences I've ever had. We worked on industry-based projects, uh, which really helped me to know what uh, maybe the industry requires of me. It really aligned with the specification that the job needed, and I was able to know what is required of me. After finishing my course in Moringa, I was accorded with some career support which was basically revamping my CV. We had some mock interviews in collaboration with Safaricom, where they helped us to know the technical aspect of uh, software engineering and also the soft skill as aspect of it. I don't see any limitation because my life has been so normal that I think I was taken to the right parents. So I was treated like the other, uh, the other children. Sometimes it's the mindset that people have. Maybe you think you are limited and that's kind of blocker to so many of us. And I've seen that, I have seen it happen to too many people, even at my university. My mindset has been one of the biggest contributor to my success. And it has put me to the place that I am here today. For me, beyond limits means going beyond your expectations. So you are supposed to go beyond what you never imagined that you could get. During my campus time, I was always that guy who was eager to know things. So I involved myself with various projects. I could go to Chandra Innovation Center. I could go there, uh, contributing various projects. Uh, joined the Google Developer Student Club. Uh, contributed in the crowdsource team and also contributed at iHub for a certain startup called Schoolify. And that's what Beyond Limits means to me. Beyond Limits.